Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Esteemed guests, students, welcome to the Fairfield Sassoon Unified School District 2016 Highest Honors Award Ceremony. At this time, please join me in welcoming our honorees led by Joshua Purvis from Fairfield High School Scarlet Brigade. Before we begin our program, I'd just like to say thank you to Scott Miller and the Rodriguez High School Jazz Band for their pre-program entertainment. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing and remove your hats for the presentation of Colors by Armio High School JROTC, the national anthem performed by Celia Lucero from Rodriguez High School, and the Pledge of Allegiance led by our district's valedictorians, Liam Nguyen, Chelsea Vong, Derek Wadsworth from Armio High School, Shireel Digze from Fairfield High School, and student board member Anthony Vogliano from Rodriguez High School.
So proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rock. You all please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready? Pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Please be seated. Welcome again, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Marie Williams. I'm the Director of Secondary Education with the Fairfield Sassoon Unified School District, and it is a distinct honor and pleasure to welcome you here this evening. At this time, please join me in welcoming our Superintendent, Ms. Chris Pori. Good evening and welcome. Congratulations, recipients, for this evening. Um, I don't know if any of you have ever been around new parents, but it's so nauseating because they always are like bragging about how brilliant their kids are. Well, parents, you guys were right. <laughs> so tonight um, we have a number of dignitaries in the house, and I am going to um, copy a, a method that our Solano County Superintendent Jay Speck uses, and it's the one um, clap acknowledgement and so I am going to mention who is in the house and then it just goes like this and then I'll mention the next person so we're gonna practice hi Chris Corey's in the house there it is all right okay so on our governing board we have president Judy Honeychurch we have board member Kathy Mariano board member Pat Shemansky board member Chris Wilson Student board member Anthony Vogliano. We have former board uh, member trustee Chuck Wood. We have our former student board member Jared Hickory. We have Fairfield uh, City or Fairfield Mayor Harry Price. We have 
Susum City Mayor Pete Sanchez. From the Solano County Office of Ed, we have Jay Speck, Superintendent. Lisette Estrella Henderson, Assistant Superintendent. We have Lori Wilson, Mayor Pro Tem from Susun City. You guys are supposed to wave when I call your name. Um, we have um, from the Central Office, Rana Portalupi, Assistant Superintendent. Robert Martinez, Assistant Superintendent of Human Resources. Dr. Sheila McCabe, our Executive Director. We have Executive Director of Pupil Services, Andrew Ombe. We have our Director of Secondary Ed, Marie Williams. Our Assistant Director of Secondary, Dino Badalini. We have the um, Assistant Principal of Armio High School, Holly Whitworth. The Principal of Fairfield High, Kristen Witt. The Principal of Rodriguez High School, Mr. Isidore. We have um, from our Fairfield Sassoon management team, Amanda Risch and Kim Morgan. We have from the Fairfield Sassoon Unified Teachers Association, Jim Bastian. We have from the School Employees Association, Teresa Stoneman. We have from the Solano County Board of Supervisors, Skip Thompson. We have um, from, also from our central office, Mike Menahan, Howard Kornblum, Roxanne Liu, and I'm sorry I missed, I'm from Sassoon City, um, Councilman Mike Sagala. And then also, thank you, the editor of our Daily Republic, Glenn Fison. And one more that just came in, I believe, our new CBO, um, Michelle Henson. And so now we're going to get back to the program. At this time, please join me in welcoming our board president, Judy Honeychurch. Good evening, everyone. And again, congratulations. After years of all of your hard work, you've all earned a four-point GPA or higher, which is an amazing task, as you well know. You have accomplished something very difficult and tangible that will make your life better from here on in. On behalf of the school board, we want you to know how very proud we are of your accomplishments. We applaud you for demonstrating the commitment and self-discipline necessary to graduate with highest honors. Education is the premise of progress in every society and every family. If you face new challenges with the same passion as you have done thus far, you will be successful. Again, congratulations on your accomplishments. Thank you, Board President Honeychurch. At this time, please join me in welcoming Fairfield Mayor, Mr. Harry Price. Thank you very much, and what a wonderful experience it is to sit up here and see such stellar accomplishments. Congratulations. This will be your first opportunity to vote in a presidential election as well as in the local elections. Exercise that responsibility well, and you are the answer to all of our problems. So we're looking forward to those solutions coming very quickly from you. And your parents, your teachers, how blessed they are in looking at you. Congratulations, and go forth and prevail. Thank you. Now please join me in welcoming the Mayor of Sassoon City, Mr. Pete Sanchez. Magandang magandang hapon sa lahat. Good afternoon. If there was a memo for one minute speeches, I did not get it. So you'll have to do with my two minute speech. I always love two minute speeches for three reasons. One, I ran out of English after two minutes. Two, I have found out that after two minutes, everybody goes to their iPhone and starts Googling something else. <laughs> and three, I found out that after two minutes, the newspaper editor always finds something wrong with my speech. <laughs> 
So today I have a threefold uh, mission. One, to congratulate you. Congratulations on such a, a great achievement. Two, to thank you and your parents and your relatives and your circle of supporters and to thank all our school administrators and teachers and staff for a job well done. And lastly, I need to tell you a short advice. As we say in the US Air Force, aim high. Don't just be a Susun City Mayor. <laughs> Three reasons. One, you will starve. <laughs> Two, you cannot pay your rent. And three, your sweetheart will leave you for another man or woman who can pay. <laughs> and let me end with this, because my two minutes is always up. Uh, I have three wishes. One, <laughs> I wish that you would be the man or woman that you want to grow up to be. Two, I wish that between now, at your young tender age, until you reach my full wisdom age, that you will try to at least help save the earth because somehow my generation has neglected in doing so. And thirdly, and this is where I am really subjective, my wish is that four years from now, all of you will be drawing such huge salary, you will be contributing to social security system <laughs> so that I can keep on drawing my social security pension every month. <laughs> Thank you so much and mabuhay! At this time, it gives me great pleasure to welcome our principals who will announce our highest honor, honorees, beginning with the principal of Rodriguez High School, Mr. Clarence Isidore. Good evening, everyone. Again, let's give a round of applause for these outstanding students. Just to cue you in, you will hear the student's name, what are some of their high school highlights, what are your plans for next year, and what is your career goal. Paola Alvarez Amador. She's involved in marching band, track and field. She will be attending Cal Poly San Luis Obispo and will be a chemical engineer. Andrea Amato Fajardo. She's involved in student leadership, swim team, junior statesman of America. She'll be attending Brigham Young University and double major in English and illustration. Her career goal is to be an animator or a lawyer. Nikita Andrikanis. Sharing incredible memories with friends, attending UC Davis to study computer science, and wants to be an entrepreneur. Brianna Aris. Soccer has been her highlight. She'll be attending University of Portland and studying secondary education. And she wants to become a high school teacher for either math or English. Dr. Martinez. Angela Belonglong. Armio Super Band and Varsity Tennis Team. She'll be attending UC Berkeley and aspires to be a pediatrician. Isabel Ann Balomadres, varsity badminton and marching band. She'll be attending CSU Fullerton in the direct entry level nursing program. 
Her career goal is nursing in the ER or the OR. <laughs> Dinah Balutyak. Meeting wonderful people and studying biology. She'll be attending UC Santa Cruz with a major in biology. Marine research with a focus on studying Cynodaria. Kirsten Vecchio. Tennis and swim teams. She'll be attending UC Santa Barbara with a major in biology. Her goal is a career in medical field, perhaps dermatology. Andrea Bolanos. Football homecoming and powder puff. Yes. She'll be attending CSU Fullerton and major in kinesiology. She wants to be a opthalmologist. Andrew Braun. World's Vex Robotics. Attending UCLA and career an electrical engineer. Julian Bucat, track and field, attending UC Davis, majoring in biology. Goal, to assist people in healing their recurring injuries. Dana Butler, tennis team and student leadership attending UC Davis with a major in Neurobiology, Physiology, and Behavior. She wants to be an occupational therapist. Michael Chang. Golf, Football, National Honor Society. Attending UC Irvine, majoring in Biochemistry and Molecular Biology. Wants to become a cardiologist for the Department of Veterans Affairs. Ayun <laughs> Hayo Choi. School Talent Show. Southern Adventist University, major in biochem and music. Wants to be a dentist or orthodontist. <laughs> Katharina Paolo Codilla student leadership and class president. She'll be attending UC San Diego, major in physiology and neuroscience. Her plans to become a family doctor or pediatrician. Karima Lindsay Dela Cruz. She's involved in marching band. She'll be attending Carrington College to study respiratory care. Her plans on becoming a respiratory therapist. Jonathan Del Mendo. Soccer, golf, and student leadership. Be attending community college and then transferred to a UC school. Goals to become a pediatrician. <laughs> Davis Delorifus. Baseball. The University of Utah playing baseball and majoring in astronomy. His plans, major league baseball player and then a career in astronomy. Drake Delorifus. Joseph Dogega, tennis team, a four-year university in California, and plans to become a doctor. Shireel Dixay, meeting and inspiring people, will be attending UC Berkeley with a major in business administration, and wants to become a business consultant 
for a nurse and a thesis. Elise Dixon. Golf team. She'll be attending CSU Fullerton and participating in the Business Honors Program and wants to be a bilingual businesswoman. Maria Flores. Soccer and educational talent search. She'll be attending CSU San Francisco, majoring in kinesiology. Her plans to become a forensic criminalist or physical therapist. Kyrena Fuller. Student leadership. She'll be attending Oregon State University as a biochemistry and biophysics major and plans to become a biochemist or a biophysics. <laughs> Juliana Gaglione, student leadership. She'll be attending CSU Sacramento. And she her plans are a career that involves helping others. Leonardo Gallegos Palacios, water polo, key club, student leadership, and international baccalaureate, attending CSU San Francisco, and plans to be an engineer. Haley Garnick, soccer, plans Washington State University, majoring in biology. Career plans, a radiologist. Kelsey Garingigeli. High school academics. CSU Sonoma State, possibly majoring in criminology, and her plans is to be a criminologist. Jason Hefner. Jason was involved in school soccer, student leadership, and skate for change. He plans to attend UC San Diego as a public health major and wants to make a difference in society. Ileana Hernandez. Ileana enjoyed meeting many lifelong friends in high school. She plans to attend California State University Fullerton to study nursing, and her career goal is to be a neonatal intensive care unit nurse. Marissa Bell Hernandez. Marissa Bell was involved in Armio High School soccer. She plans to attend CSU Fullerton to study nursing, and her career aspirations are to be a neonatal intensive care unit nurse. Karen K. Ignacio. A highlight of, of high school was in being involved in the Filipino club. She plans to attend Napa Valley College and study nursing, and her career goal is to become an obstetrician gynecologist. Cesar Ituriaga. Cesar participated in track and cross country. He plans to attend CSU Fresno State, and he aspires to become a marketing manager. <laughs> T 
Taylor Jackson. Taylor was involved in the academic decathlon team, plans to attend UC Santa Barbara, and her goals are to work for the United Nations. Rogerica Wan. Rogerica was involved in both band and tennis. She plans to attend UC Irvine and aspires to be a doctor specializing in neurology. <laughs> Esther Kim. <laughs> Esther was involved with the National Honor Society as well as the academic decathlon. She plans to attend the University of Pennsylvania as a psychology major and aspires to be a physician. Annalise Clausen. Annalise played volleyball. She plans to attend Chapman University, and her career goal is to become a pharmacist. Logan Kunkel. Logan was involved in Key Club, the golf team, as well as student leadership. He plans to attend UC Irvine to study engineering, and his goal is to become an aerospace engineer. Brian Leal. Brian was involved in the marching band, plans to attend UC Santa Barbara to study physics, and his goal is to obtain a PhD in physics to become a researcher. <laughs> Alyssa Loxon. One of Alyssa's highlights was to participate in the Mario Kart tournament. She plans to attend Solano Community College and she aspires to be a concept artist for entertainment purposes. Marissa Mark. A highlight of Marissa's high school experience is being involved on the tennis team. She plans to attend UCLA and she aspires to have a career in sports marketing. Juan Martinez. Juan was a member of the Robotics Club, participated in track and field, as well as cross country. He plans to attend Napa Valley College, and he aspires to find a career as a mechanical engineer for NASA. Aaron McFarland. A highlight of Aaron's high school experience was being involved in the Armio Super Band. He plans to attend UC Santa Cruz to study software engineering, and he aspires to be a software engineer. Aldo Mejia. A highlight of Aldo's high school experience was making friends. He plans to attend UC Davis, majoring in biochemistry, molecular biology, and business. And his career goals are to find something in the medical or business field. Nicole Mize. Nicole was part of the tennis team and swim team. She plans to attend UC Davis and major in managerial economics. Her goals include becoming a project manager or a financial analyst. Elizabeth Morales. 
One of the highlights of Elizabeth's high school career was the achievement of high academic standing. She plans to attend UC Santa Barbara and major in communications. She aspires to have a career in the media industry or in marketing. Michaela Murphy. Michaela was involved with the tennis team. She was a cheerleader. She participated in missions abroad and journalism. She plans to study business administration at Pepperdine University, and her career goals are to bring sound business practices to Liberia and Africa. Tessa Newell. Tessa was in, on the cross country and soccer teams. She plans to attend CSU San Diego with a pre-major of business administration, and her career goals at this time are still undecided. <laughs> Liam Nguyen. <laughs> Liam was on the men's tennis, tennis team, academic decathlon team, National Honor Society, and a member of the math club. He plans to study at UC Berkeley as a bioengineering major, and his goals are to work in research and development for a biotechnology company. Bryce Nielsen. Bryce was a member of the golf team and involved in student leadership. He plans to attend Brigham Young University after a two-year mission for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. His career goals are to enter the field of biology. Mitchell Nasbich. Mitchell played on the soccer team, was a member of Virtual Enterprises, and competed on the swim team. He plans to attend the United States Air Force, and his goals include becoming a paramedic firefighter. Sandra Ochoa. One of the highlights of Sandra's high school career was going camping with friends. She plans to attend UC Santa, Gru Santa Cruz, and her goal is to become a licensed psychologist. <laughs> Alexandra Paulson. A highlight of high school for Alexandra was attending school events. She plans to attend UC Irvine or UC Davis, majoring in microbiology and immunology. Her goals are to become a research scientist for cures and treatments of diseases, especially autoimmune diseases. <laughs> Nicole Rem Pingle. Nicole was very involved in the Key Club, and her goals are to become a nurse for a dermatology clinic or maybe a dermatologist. Michelle Pinter. Michelle was involved in band, National Honor Society, the Interact Club, as well as varsity soccer. She plans to attend Cal Poly San Luis Obispo, majoring in environmental engineering. Her career aspirations include becoming an environmental engineer. Liana Palma. A highlight of Liana's high school experience was being involved in the Education Talent Search Program. She plans to study international business and find a career in international business. Okay. 
Andrew Purcell. Andrew was a member of both the track and cross country teams and a member of the robotics club. He plans to attend UC Santa Cruz, majoring in game design, and his career aspirations include making video games or creating software. <laughs> Natalie Rose Reyes. <laughs> Natalie, Natalie was a member of the badminton team and a member of Key Club. She plans to attend UC Davis, and her career goals are to become a pediatrician. <laughs> Olivia Reyes. One of Olivia's high school highlights was being a part of the volleyball team. She plans to attend UC Davis and hopes to pursue something in the medical field for her career. Rachel Reyes. A highlight for Rachel was being a member of the marching band. She plans to attend CSU San Francisco to study nursing, and her career goal is to become a registered nurse working in pediatrics. Trina Reynolds. A couple highlights for Trina included the school newspaper and a member of the Christian Club. She plans to attend UC Davis as part of the University Honors Program, majoring in biotechnology. Her career goal is to become a researcher to discover new medicines and treatments. David Rodriguez. David was a member of both the track and cross country teams and a member of the Helping Hands Club. He plans to attend UC Davis, majoring in neurobiology, physiology, and behavior, and his career goal is to become a neonatologist. James Roses. Some highlights for James included being a member of the swim team, marching band, water polo team, and being a member of student leadership. He plans to attend UC San Diego to pursue a bachelor's degree for aerospace engineering. And his career goal is to have a job with an aerospace company like SpaceX. Gianna Ross. <laughs> Her memorable moment in high school was playing volleyball. She plans on attending UC Santa Barbara, majoring in global studies, and she wants to become an international consultant in business. Angelica Torrezon Rojas. Her memorable moment in high school was playing badminton. She will be attending CSU Fullerton, majoring in nursing, and she wants to become a registered nurse specializing in pediatrics. <laughs> Kaylee Sagara. Varsity track and field, student leadership, National Honor Society, Society and a member of the Interact Club. She will be attending UCLA, majoring in art history, and wants to become an archaeologist or a museum curator. Jasmine Singh. His highlight of high school was being a member of student leadership. He will be attending a four-year university and majoring in chemical sciences. He wants to be a physician who conducts transitional research with an emphasis in orthopedics. <laughs> Catherine Lizette Solorio. 
Her highlight of high school was her academic achievement. She will be attending Solano Community College and wants to become a neonatal nurse. Ryu Song. His highlight in high school was his student clubs and friendly school folks. He wants to live and work in Massachusetts, completing a six months residency to enter MCC. He wants to end up becoming a paralegal and then a lawyer. Dylan Songpanya Seichao. Participated in cross country and international baccalaureate. He will be attending UC Davis with a major in biological sciences. The career path he wants to make for himself will involve attempting to become a better society. Salma Strauer. Her highlight in high school was being a member of track and field. She'll be attending UCLA as a global studies major and wants to become a U.S. foreign diplomat. Lorraine Tafala. Her highlight in high school was making memories with friends and she wants to become an oral surgeon. Rachel Tanzis. Her highlight was becoming a member of the volleyball team. She'll be attending UC Davis and majoring in biochemistry and molecular biology. And she wants to become a sports medicine doctor. Reagan Taylor. Reagan's highlights in high school were memories with friends. She will be attending UC Davis as a material science and engineering major, and she wants to become a materials engineer with an emphasis in mechanical engineering. Nicole Thurn. Nicole's highlight was being a scholar athlete. She will be attending Cal Poly San Luis Obispo to study business finance. She aspires to become a lawyer or financial consultant. Brianna Torres. Her highlight of high school was meeting new friends. She'll be attending Napa Valley Community College and wants to become a neonatal intensive care unit nurse. Chasmine Angel Chloe Tortel. Her highlight was participating in the International Baccalaureate. She will be attending UC Davis and wants to become a registered nurse. Charles Tralka. Charles' highlight was being a member of the water polo team. He will be attending UC Santa Cruz and majoring in marine biology. He wants to become an Alaska branchologist, a shark biologist. Keisha Kate Ugaldi. Her highlight in high school was meeting new friends. She will be attending UC Irvine and wants to become a pharmacist. Annika Uenko. Her highlight of high school was being a member of the swim team. She will be attending UC Davis, majoring in chemistry and a minor in photography, and she wants to become a chemist. Ashley Van Bell. Her highlight was student leadership. She will be attending UCLA with a major in molecular cell and developmental biology. She aspires to become a doctor in the military. Christopher Vo. His highlight was being a member of the marching band. He will be attending UC Davis as a biochemistry and molecular biology major. He wants to become an oncologist. Anthony Vogliano. His highlight 
highlights in high school were being a member of student leadership, cross country, student board member on the FSUSD school board. He will be attending UC Berkeley and majoring in engineering physics. He aspires to do research in physics, particularly particle physics. Monica Vree. Monica's highlight was being a member of the Rodriguez Entertainment Unit. She'll be attending UC Davis and aspires to become an optometrist. Chelsea Vong. Chelsea was a junior statesman of America. She'll be attending Harvard University, majoring in economics, and aspires to become a sports broadcaster. Derek Wadsworth. Derek's highlights were being a member of the Fairfield Youth Commission, tennis and soccer, editor for the school paper, and an Eagle Scout. He will be attending UC Davis with a major in chemical engineering and aspires to become an engineer. Nicholas Walker. His highlights are being a member of the football team and marching band. He will be attending Northwest Nazarene University, majoring in history education. He aspires to become a high school history teacher and a football coach. <laughs> Jessica Ward. <laughs> Jessica's highlights are being a member of volleyball and track, key club, and honor society. She will be attending UC Berkeley and aspires to become an engineer. Thomas Wise. Thomas's highlights were being a member of football and baseball, student leadership, and a member of Skate for Change. He'll be attending CSU San Diego or Arizona State University studying kinesiology, and he wants to become a sports doctor. Tessa Williams. Tessa's highlight was cheerleading. She'll be attending CSU Fullerton to pursue a bachelor's degree in nursing, and she wants to become a surgical nurse. Ann Wilson. Ann's highlights were being a member of water polo, wrestling, swimming, and student leadership. She'll be attending Seattle University, where she'll study criminal justice, and she wants to become a forensic examiner. Sadie Winkler. Sadie's highlight was meeting her best friend and having fun at the athletic games. She'll be attending Solano Community College and Napa Valley College. She wants to aspire to become either a chemical engineer or an environmental protection lawyer. Jasmine Wong. Jasmine's highlights were being a member of band, student clubs, badminton, and tennis. She'll be attending UCLA where she'll major in nursing and aspires to become a nurse practitioner. Justin Wong. Justin's highlights were being a member of golf, tennis, and band. Justin will be attending UC Berkeley, majoring in materials engineering. He aspires to work in research and development. Aaron Wood. Aaron's highlights were being a member of swim team, robotics team, water polo team, and international baccalaureate. He'll be attending UC Santa Cruz and studying robotics engineering. He aspires to design, build, and generally work with robots. Pazua Yang. 
Pazua's highlights were being a member of the Key Club and Badminton team. She will be attending Solano Community College and aspires to become a radiologist. Sinfuri Bang. Sinfuri's highlights were being a member of Key Club and the badminton team. She'll be attending CSU Sacramento and majoring in biology, and she wants to become a dermatologist. Sarah Yoon. Sarah's highlights were being a member of the badminton team and international baccalaureate. She'll be attending either UC Berkeley or UC San Diego, majoring in computer science. She wants to develop software that will make a positive impact on people's lives. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a rousing round of applause for our highest honor honorees. Ladies and gentlemen, students, you are the stars of the show this evening, but I know that you recognize that none of this would be possible without the help of your family and friends who are here to celebrate with you this evening. Please turn around and give them a round of applause. I know that dotted through the audience this evening, there are several teachers. If you're a teacher in Fairfield Sassoon Unified School District, we want to recognize you also. Please stand and give a wave so we can recognize you this evening. In just a few moments, I'm going to turn the microphone over to Superintendent Chris Corey. She has the charge of bringing closing remarks, and she also has the fun part of the evening. Um, I do want to say a few words of thanks this evening. I want to thank very sincerely from the Superintendent's Office, Linda Marsh and Martha Pierce, for all of your help. Thank you. I also want to thank from the Office of Secondary Education, Ms. Debbie Dahl and Sarah Hernandez. I also want to thank our child nutrition team who have prepared some lovely snacks for you. Thank you very much for being here this evening. I want to thank Lori Hughes from Hughes Photography. She's going to be out here in just a moment taking care of photographs and I'll have some instructions for you in a moment, but we want to thank her also for being here. And we also want to thank the students from Fairfield High, High School Leadership who assisted with passing out programs this evening. Thank you, all of you. There are also several assistant principals from the high schools this evening, and I want to thank you also for assisting. And now, Ms. Corey. I did notice that none of you aspired to be a superintendent. And then I remembered, oh yeah, you're a 4.0 student, why would you do that? Um, I, I learned early on that the superintendency is not the most popular of positions. And so my first year as superintendent, um, we worked through this, uh, this idea that I would get to do a raffle. And so all of you are already in the raffle. So I'm going to ask um, Amanda. Where's Amanda? Here she is. Because we get to draw some fabulous prizes. Okay. All right. So they don't start out very good, but they do get better. But the first one, I, I would like this one actually is a car wash of full detail for Dylan. Say ciao. This 
next one is another good one. It's a $50 dog grooming boutique from Posh. All right, here it is. And it is Kiara Jones. Is Kiara here? Oh, you must be present to win. Oh, yeah. All right, here we go. Nikita and Raconis. Okay, then we have a couple of Dutch Brother packages that have mug, free beverage, some vouchers, some Dutch Brothers stickers. Okay, so um, this one goes to Rodrigo Juan, or Juan, no, Rodrigo Juan, is that right? And the second Dutch Brothers goes to Aaron Wood. <laughs> okay, for this I need somebody else to draw and help because these are um, worth a little bit more and I don't want to take responsibility for this. So, um, <laughs> We're going to have board president um, Honey Church come. This is for a $40 gift card to Office Depot. Okay, how about Davis De La Forest? Okay, we have another $40 gift card, and uh, Mrs. Mariano is with this one, and it's also to Office Depot, Office Max. All right, how about this one? James Roses. Also a $40 gift card to Office Depot, Office Max. Okay, let's see which one it is. All right, there it is. Brianna Iris? With 80 
dollars cash. lesson here. So this one is for a gift card. Is this two together? 
Um, so I think I'm going to split them apart because it's more fun when more people win. So it's a $25 gift certificate to the movies. Regal. Okay, right there. 